Hello everyone, Grandma here. I'm here with Sophia Lorenz Pasta Fazool the day after I made it. It's been in the refrigerator overnight and you can see how it congealed. So I thought we can fry some up and make pancakes or fritters. I put some flour on a plate and I seasoned it with some granulated garlic and some black pepper. I'm heating up my skillet on medium heat. I'm removing a square of the pasta fazool. And now I'm going to coat it with flour. The skillet is warm, so I'm adding my, uh, my butter. This is what my pancake or fritter looks like after I coated it with flour. I reshaped it a little bit. I'm adding it to the hot skillet now. And I'm going to let it cook for a few minutes on each side. I made another one, so I'm cooking up two now. Before serving, I topped it with some Parmesan cheese and some dried basil. How's it taste, Grandpa? Let you know in a minute, Ma. Tastes good, Ma, with the cheese on top. What does it taste like, Grandpa? It tastes like pasta vazool. Now I'm going to taste it. I like this. I like this even better than the soup. The outside is crispy and flavorful with the Parmesan cheese and the dried basil, and the inside is nice and soft. This is so good. This would be nice with a fried egg on top. But I don't think I'd make this into a burger because it's too soft. But it's a nice fritter and very flavorful if you add some seasoning on top. So this is a nice option for the leftovers. It reminds me of mashed potatoes fried. You think so? Yep. Well, that's good, too, because I like mashed potatoes fried. So actually, this would make a nice little side dish. 